What's going on guys, this is CK Media. Today's video is about Emancipation of Biafra by Asari Dokubo and Nande Kano. Pastor E.A. Adeboye's message to Buhari on restructuring of Nigeria. And we also have Femi Fane Kayode on his marital issues and lots more. So if this is the first time you're coming across our channel, please don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel if you have not. Share our videos with your friends and families. Don't forget, very importantly, to turn on the bell notification so that to be notified each time we release a new video. So let's get into the video. You know that Femi Fane Kayode's fourth marriage just crashed and he is alleging infidelity on the side of his wife. A man said he caught his wife with a married man in bed. So guys, what do you think about it? If you see your wife in bed with a married man, what will be your reaction? Will you be talking about peace? Most of us have seen the video that is circulating on social media and there are lots of tweets from Femi Fane Kayode and also Reno Amokri. So let me read some of those tweets for you. Then we talk about this incident. Let's start with the one from Reno Amokri. Reno Amokri says, At Showore, when Showore was in detention, real FFK kept on consistently fighting for his release. It is actually very sad that the same Shawore that he fought for will now use Sahara reporters to ridicule him. Why not leave a man and his marriage alone? Shawore read Proverbs 17.13. This is from Reno Omokere to Shawore. And another tweet here says, Children drew their initial sense of self-esteem from their parents. You can divorce, separate or quarrel with your spouse, but your kids are yours forever. Because of your love for your children, never shame your spouse publicly or you shame them. You know, never shame your spouse publicly or you shame your children. That's what Reno Omokri is saying. So let's go to the tweet of Femi Fanekayo. The, you know, a man that says he caught his wife in bed with another man, a married man. Let's hear what he says. I've chosen to take the high horse and I refuse to allow my estranged wife to turn the affairs of my personal life into a public circus. If she has any issues, let her use the right medium as a responsible adult and mother and stop secretly feeding the media with damaging materials, videos and stuff. Acting is a professional field all on its own, but thankfully so is law. Any and all videos, testimonies, documentations and other evidence coming from my end will only be displayed in court, where this issue can be resolved once and for all. If this person speaks the truth, they will be happy to meet me there. Instead of peddling stories, my next tweet and post will be focused solely on relevant issues. Thank you. Femi Fane Kayode is asking the wife to take the matter to court as a responsible mother and adult if she's, you know, if she feels she is innocent of the accusation and the problems that they're having. Femi Fane Kayode also said that if we listen repeatedly on the video, that you will hear what he said. He said, my words in the video are self-explanatory. I urge those that watch it to listen to those words carefully. I told her that everyone wanted peace except for her and all she did was indulge in scandal after scandal. I've never physically abused my estranged wife. That's what Femi Fane Kayode is saying. I repeat, there was no physical abuse whatsoever and she had been insulting and subjecting everybody including family members, staff and children to physical and verbal abuse the whole day. As usual, it was a nightmare. So this is the confession and statement of Femi Fane Kayode about his estranged wife. We don't know what actually happened between them. The clip we saw is not a full clip. You know, the, that clip is edited, you know, to suit the person that released it. We don't know. But what I'm trying to say here is this. My area of concentration where my argument is based is a man that claims he caught his wife in bed with another man is suing for peace. Is that possible in Nigeria? Is that possible in the life of a public figure, a politician of that caliber? You caught your wife in bed with another married man and you're suing for peace, asking for peace, <laughs> begging for peace. Is that possible in this world today, in the present Nigeria that we have? It's not possible. So they are not telling us actually what's going on in their house, in their marriage. It's none of our business. So it depends on what they want. If they want to throw it to the public for us to see, that's beautiful. You know, for a man to have been married four good times and all his marriages crashed, 
that speaks volume. It tells you the kind of human that man is. So we don't want to, you know, get into what is their problem, why are they quarreling, why are they separating, why are they fighting, why are they going to court? That is their own business. So my, my concentration here is how can you catch your wife in bed with another man and you're asking for peace? It's not possible. The second one is how many times have you been married and all your marriages failed? And you still come in public to tell us you're asking for peace. Listen, listen to your words carefully to understand what you're saying. You're asking for peace. This is Nigeria. This is a politician. This is a man that has money. He has power, the influence, everything is there. He has the connection. So if they are using media to fight him, if they are using media to bring the truth to the public, I don't see anything wrong in it. What I find ridiculous is somebody catching his wife in bed and suing for peace that is what i find ridiculous guys so how do you see it what do you think about that will you see your wife in bed with another man and you're asking for peace please leave a comment in the comment section let's know your own thought let's move on to the next topic which is restructuring of nigeria emancipation of biafra asari dokobo and namdekano issue so guys Pastor E.A. Adeboye called on the president to restructure Nigeria fast, as fast as possible, to be hasty about it, to do something before it's too late. That Nigeria is about breaking into pieces. All social ethnic groups are clamoring for self-governance. Ududua is asking for their liberation. Biafra is asking for liberation. Even the Middle Belt, except the North, that don't want to talk about going their own separate ways. So, Pastor E. Adeboye asked Buhari's government to adopt British system of government and American system of government and merge the two together. Where you can have governor of all the regions, we have the premiers, we have the president, we have the prime minister. You know, all regions manage their own resources and now pay tax to the federal government. That is what Pastor E. A. Adeboye is telling President Muhammad Buhari to restructure Nigeria now before it's too late. So that's his own solution to combine the American and British system of government to suit Nigerians. But there is something there. Ohaneze Ndibo wants restructuring. Pandef wants restructuring, but Masab, Owazirike's group and IPOB are speaking different voices. They are speaking different words. IPOB and Masab are not speaking the same thing. But we, you know, hear them say they want Biafra, you know, self-governance. They want self-government. They want Biafra to be on its own. But they are not using the same word. Those are the leaders of Igbo, the Ohanes and Igbo. They want Nigeria to be restructured so that every region will take care of their own people and manage their resources. All right. So Asari Dokobo made mention of actualization of Biafra, but with Nnam the Kano on the helm of affairs, Biafra cannot be achieved. So let me tell you guys what Asari Dokubo said about Biafra and the Namdekano. The founder of Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force, Mojihad Asari Dokubo has again attacked the leader of IPOB, Maz Namdekano, saying he has derailed from the Biafra struggle. Dokubo, who said he is a Biafran and believes in Biafra struggle, maintained that the IPOB leader was not in any struggle for the restoration of Biafra Republic. The ex-militant fighter who spoke exclusively with Vanguard, so that you guys will not think I'm getting this from somewhere, he spoke with Vanguard in his country home in Buguma, River State, that is in Kalabari Kingdom, guys, said that he regrets associating with Namdekano. He said, it gives me great regret in my life I ever associated with a person like Namdekano. That when he was in crisis, I came out to defend him. In fact, my greatest regret is associating with Nam De Kano. I can't make peace with somebody like him. It is a foreclosed issue because he has nothing to offer other than derail our struggle. With Nam De Kano, there is no hope for Biafra. You guys, that is what Asari is saying. Say with Nam De Kano, there is no hope for Biafra. Those of us who get close to him knows he's not fighting for Biafra. Nam De is just one individual in Biafra. So we shouldn't make him important. He is not. He is just like every one of us. He is not in any struggle. Whatever spell he has cast on the Igbo will be removed very soon and their eyes will open. When he was in trouble, all of us came out to defend him because an injury to one is an injury to all. We risked our lives by speaking in support of him, for him to be released from prison and for him not to be killed. Now he has seen those of us who fought 
on his behalf for freedom as his followers. Some of us regret ever lending our voice. We would have let him rot in jail because he caused more harm to Biafra's struggle than anyone else. When asked how Kano has caused more harm than good to the people of Biafra and the Biafra struggle, the former president of a Joy Youth Council retorted, Don't you listen to his broadcast? He insults every Igbo person that disagrees with him. He has also extended his insult to other tribes, including the Ijo people. He attacks Ralph Owazurike, Nia Ward Ohaneze leader. Now he is attacking Pa Edwin Clark, who is not a Biafra. Biafra is the former Eastern region. Pa Clark has never been an Easterner, but from the Western region to the Middle West region. He has gone outside the Igbo to accuse Pa Clark, Isaac Boro, Ken Saro Wiwa. How can you bring unity to the people by abusing and attacking their leaders? Is Biafra's struggle an Igbo struggle? He's making it an Igbo struggle. The Biafra Nam the Kano is pursuing will be worse than South Sudan if he wants to promote Igbos alone over other Ijo groups, Ibibio and so on. He's power drunk. We are not even done with the struggle. He's assuming position of leadership, calling himself the supreme leader. Before my quarrel with him, nobody was against him, but now people are no longer afraid of him. So guys, this is what Asari Dokubo said about Maze Namdekano. Asari Dokubo said, there is no Biafra with Namdekano. If you want to achieve Biafra, if Biafrans want to achieve this struggle, not with Namdekano. That is what Asari is saying. That Biafra is impossible, absolutely impossible with Namdekano. So what do you guys think about it? Do you think with Namdekano, Biafra can be achieved? Do you think there is no struggle in what Nam the Kano is doing. Do you think Nam the Kano and his group have turned Biafra struggle into a core struggle according to Asari Dokobo? So guys, leave it in the comment section. Let's continue the conversation there. So what do you think about Femi Fane Kayode, his marriage and his tweet, whatever he's, he thinks he's saying? Do you think a man can catch his wife in bed with another married man and be asking for peace, guys? Is it possible? So what? Pastor E.A. Adeboye told Buhari to restructure Nigeria now, 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 before it is too late. So leave your opinion in the comment section, guys. So if this is the first time you're coming across our channel, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking us out. Don't forget to like, smash the subscribe button, comment, turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified each time we drop a new video. So share our videos with your friends and families. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.